Alright, so now for what might seem like the last part, let's try and see if it would be the last part. Now, let's get started on this. So I'm going to go over to the front view, and uh, now what we're going to do now is to try to make sure that the top here matches what is on the bottom here. And what I'm trying to explain to you is, let's try taking all of these vertices, alright? Let's press shift and D, and let's move it in the Z axis, and let's see if it matches at the bottom. You can see it doesn't match at all right now. So if we try to uh, apply the array modifier on this, we won't have any points of merge to be able to merge this onto. So let's get rid of this. That is what we're going to create right now. That point where everything can merge and then duplicate and continue without a problem. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to take, let me see, I think the one at the bottom would be the best. So I'm going to take all of the edge at the bottom from here. You can see it selects everything for us all the way to the other side. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get to this side. I'm going to press shift and D and move this in the Z axis. And I'm going, to move, I'm going to move it to this point. Now let's make sure this is the one selected. Let's press Ctrl and I and hide everything else. Hold on, not everything else. Um, we need the blueprint, I mean the uh, image. So let's let's deselect the image as well. Let's deselect the image as well. And let's hide everything else. So I'm going to go in here. So this one should guide us as to where the next thing is. So I'm going to pull this up quite close, not too close. Just a little bit close like that. And I'm going to take this one now. Let me press Shift and D and move it in the Z axis to compensate for the rest of the distance from here to there. Like that. We're going to move it down here in the Z axis to this point like this, not too much. We're just going to move it a little bit like that. Now let me just move on to the front view. So every, everything else looks good all around. The only point we have to fix is this area right here. So let's deselect, let's deselect all of these. And let's deselect all of that. And now what I want to do is I'm going to move this in the X axis all the way here. Just to, you know, add in that area very nicely like that. And uh, let's pull it up like that. So with that done, <coughs> sorry. All right. So with that done, I want to take this one as well. And let's move it in the x-axis a little bit. Now I'm going to get rid of this one again. Now this is the new one we're going to use. But before we actually use it, let's take both of these. All right. I want to press space and type in bridge. So let's type in bridge and select bridge edge loops. So we can bridge the space between them very nicely like that. Now I'm going to take the one at the bottom, this one right here, and let's go over to the front view. I'm going to shift and D this in the Z axis, and I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to move it quite close to it like that. But let's bring it down as close as we can to this area right here, like this. Let me just move it down a little bit more. All right, so that should be quite the space. I think it might actually be too much. I'm not so sure, but it might actually be okay. Let me go to the front view again, and let me just press G and then Z. Let me move this up, I mean down, to about this point right here. All right, so let's see. We have three, let me see. All right, we have, let me see something. Let me move this in the Z axis. Let me see how that, okay. So we have three vertices here, which is the three vertices we have down here. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit. I'm going to move it in the Z axis. I don't know. We just have to do something. Um, let me see. Let me take all of them, okay? Let me take all of these. And I'm going to move it in the Z axis just to, you know, kind of make that side a little bit small. Just so this one can go up a little bit for that area to be able to fill very nicely. Alright. So that is looking good. That is looking good. Now, all that we're going to do now, let me go over to the front view. Um, uh, what I want to do next is I want to take these three, alright, with well, this one being the last one here, the center here being the last one, I want to merge it at the last, like that, I don't know if that is a good idea, you know, let's undo that, let's keep it that way, and let's fill this area first, let's fill all of these areas first, so I want to take these four, and I'm going to press F, and I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to press F all the way to about here, we're going to end it over here, and I'm going to move on to the next one, that is this side, I'm going to take these four, and I'm going to press F, I'm going to take these two now, and I'm going to press F all the way to there, like that for now, and uh, let me see, we we'll have to fill this area now, let's move on to the bottom over here, so let me take this, and then let me merge it at this one, let's see what happens, nothing happens, so let's do the same thing up here, you can see there were two over here, and we merged it at the last one here, so it was this bottom line that we duplicated up there, so whatever we do down here, we're going to do the same thing up here. So let's go up here, I want to take this, and then that one, I want to merge it at the last one. Make sure you have the selection right, just the way you did it at the bottom, just do the same thing at the top. Alright, so without that, let's see, we have four vertices over here, let me move down here and see which four vertices are those, which is this one. So let's take all of those four vertices, and then let me see, 
we can press we can press Alt and M and let's merge it out the center. Let's see. Alright. So the same thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take all these four Alt and M at the center, like that. Alright, so that is looking good. That is looking quite good. So let me see. We're just cleaning this one up now at this stage. We're just cleaning things up. Let me move over here. We're gonna keep those ones. Alright, let's fill let's see, we're gonna do the same thing. On this side we have four over here and we have four at the bottom. So let me take all of these. Let me press Alt and M at center. I wanna do the same thing here. Take all of these Alt and M at center, like that. Alright, so that is looking good. Now let's see, let's see if we can fill this. Let's take these two. Hold on, we have two over here. And we have two over here as well. So let's take this, merge it at the last one. Like that, you can see the selection, just make sure the selection is right. Merge this at the last, like that. Alright, so what is next, what is next, what is next? Now I'm going to take these two, and let's press F. And let's fill this, let's fill this to this point right here, as you can see. Let me put up the shrink wrap so I can see the imperfections going on here. Now let me take this and let me slide it back. Let me just press G twice, let me slide it back a little bit to this point. Let me take this, slide that back a little bit to that point. Alright, so that is looking good. Now, what I'm going to do next, let me take these two and let me press F one more time to that point like that. Alright, that is looking good. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take these two and we're going to press F like this all the way to that point. And let's take this one as well and slide it around just like we did with the one back there slide this one forward all the way to there all right so what I'm gonna do next is um let me see let's add in about two loop cuts in here let's just add in I don't know do we need two or just one all right let's just add in one let's just add in one here I wanna add in one over here as well or two I don't know let's just add in one there one here that should be good let me see let me take this one away. Let me press W, choose loop tools and choose space. And let's see how far apart they are. Okay, so not bad. Let me take this one. Let me do it to this one instead. Loop tools, space. Okay, so it's quite spreading. So maybe we need two. Let me try. Hold on. Yeah. Let me dissolve that edge. Let me try two. And let's do this again. W, loop tools, space. Alright, so I think two will be better than one. So just add in two in that area and add in one in this area. Alright, let's see how this side also looks. So I'm gonna take everything. Press W, loop tools and choose space. Yeah, I think that is better. Alright, that is looking good. Now what we're gonna do next is um let me see. Let's get over to this side. We just have to be able to make it past this curve over here. So let me take these four and let me press F. Let me take these two now. And let me press F all the way to about here. Now let me see. We need one more here. So let me let me undo this. Let me take these four. Let me press F. And let me see. Um let me take these faces, alright? Let's delete these faces. So only faces. Let me delete only faces or else if I select faces it will delete the vertices up here as well. So now let's select these edges and let's delete those edges now. Hold on. Let's delete those edges. Now let's go back to vertex select mode. Let's take these two and let's press F all the way to. Let's fill it all the way to there for now. And I'm gonna move over here. Let's add in just two, just like we added in here. Let's add in two over there. And let's take these four and let's press F. Let me just enable this real quick. And let's take this one now. Let's press F again. These two here. And let's press F. And um, let me see. Remember we don't need to add anything up here because that might cause some problems. So nothing should be added over here. Like for example, if you add one here, it adds in a vertex at the top here. We don't need that. So let's dissolve it. So we're just going to try and then fill this with what we have over here. Let's try Alt and F. And let's press Alt and J. And let's smooth in this and see if it gives us any problem. Let me see. Shade smooth. Alright, so not too much of a problem. We can keep it there. So that is good. Let's do the same with this area. Now let me see. I'm going to take these four. I'm going to press F. Take these two, let's press F to this point. And let's press Ctrl and R2 here. Let's take these four. And let's press F. And let's take all of this. Let's try Alt and F and then Alt and J. And again, let's move in this and see how that looks. Alright, so not bad. Not bad. So let's move on to this side now. I'm going to take 
one, two, three, four. Let's press F. Let's take this two. Let's press F. Let's see how that looks. All right, not bad. It's actually going in very nicely. All right. So we're only going to be able to fill it all the way to this point. Now let me see. Let me press Ctrl and R2 here. Let me take this two. Let me press F twice and fill it to the top. Now let's move on to the side and um, let me see. Let me take. Let me take um. Let's take these two and let's press F and let's press Ctrl and R2 here. Add one in here and we're going to let me see. We can't get rid of any of these up here too. So let's take these four for now. No, not okay. So let's take this one. Press F and let's press Ctrl and R2 here. Let's add one here. Let's take these two. Press F twice and let's take these two. Let's press F once. No, these four. Let's press F. Let's take all of these ones. Press Alt and F and then Alt and J. And let's click on object and select shade smooth. That is not going to give us any problems because it's quite on a flat area. So that is looking good. Now what I'm going to do now is let me get over here. Let me take these two. And let me press F and let me see. Let me take all of this. Or let me just take. Let me take. Let me see. Let me take all these ones. So let's select all the area in here. I want to press Alt and F and then Alt and J to fill that area very nicely. And let's see, let's take everything else here. Everything else besides the ones that are extending beyond it. So all these ones. And let's press Alt and F. Let's try Alt and F and then Alt and J. And let's see how that looks. So that, I think that is actually causing some problems. Let's undo that and let's try to fill it. Let's try to fill it in on our own a little bit and let's see how that looks. So I'm gonna undo that fill in. Where is it? Alright, all the way to this point. And um let me see. Let me get over here. Um let me take these two. Let me press F twice. Let me take this one, press G twice, and let me slide it all the way back here. And I'm gonna take these two again. And I'm gonna press F once. Fill it all the way there. Now let's see. Um, let me take. Let me take one, two, three, four. Let me press F. Let me add one in the middle here. So what I'm gonna do now is. Let me just take these two. One, these two. Let me press F. Let me take all of these ones here. Let me press Alt and F, and then Alt and J, like that. And then we have that area looking good. Now over here, let me take everything. Let's see how we can fill this area. Let's press Alt and F. Okay, so that is actually looking good. And then press Alt and J. And that is looking great. Now finally we have this area. Let's try the Alt and F method on C. Let's try the Alt and F method on it and let's see how that looks. So Alt and F and then Alt and J. And that is looking good. Alright, so not bad. So that fills in the area very nicely for as you can see. Everything is nicely filled. Now let's see if this can continue the... Uh, Duplication. So let's go into edit mode and let's select everything. First of all, let me save this over. I'm going to press shift and D and then Z. Let's move this down to this point. Let's move it very close. G and then Z. So you can see now it's, it's falling right on top of it. Let's zoom in and make sure we put it right on top of it. So G and then Z. I'm just going to put it right on top of it like that. So you can see that falls on it very nicely. You can see every vertex is meeting every single vertex. There is no lonely vertex or anything like that. So you can see that worked very well. Now let's see if that is going to merge nicely. Now let's see we have a total of um, 40 vertices in the middle here. Okay, that's not. it didn't select all of them all the way through. So let's click that again. So this one selects all the way through. We have a total of 71 vertices from there to there. So now let's select everything. And let's press Alt and M. And let's merge by distance. And then you can see that get rid that gets rid of 71 vertices. So that means we did that right, and that area will be merged very nicely without any problems. So let's undo all that again. So we don't need to duplicate it right now. So there we go. So this is what we have now. So this is what we're gonna use to actually create that whole thing that we need around the tire, this whole thread. So that is what we're gonna do right now. Let's press Alt and H to bring everything else. So I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna delete it now. We don't need it anymore. And um. Let me see, I don't need this one as well, so I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to take this one, and I want to get to the side. I'm going to press space, and then let's type in spin, and let's activate the spin for us. 
for this and let's type the angle in the angle section let's type in 360 uh, hold on I think this is this didn't spin right uh, remember the spin tool actually requires us to be to have the uh, the kezer at the point where we need it to spin so let me take the rim again and we go into edit mode with those edges at the end selected just like we did in the beginning that is this edges here this one and then that one over here select both of them and let's press shift and S and choose Kezer to select it and let's get onto the side let's spin this again so I'm gonna get into edit mode press space and then spin like that and then in the angle section let's type in 360 360 not 36 there we go and let's increase the steps to something like 80 like that and let's minimize this so you can see that is looking good let's take everything and press shift and N to recalculate the normals and let's click on object and select shade smooth like that alright so that is looking good you can see we have this looking great now I'm going to increase this to 4 the viewport to 4 and let's rename this let's rename this mesh to let me see tire guide like that and now let's hide this so we're going to take this one next with the Keza, I mean with the Keza still in the middle there I'm going to get onto this side and I'm going to rotate this let me, see, let me go into edit mode I'm going to select everything let me press period and change the pivoting point to 3D Keza and I want to rotate this press R and hold on control and let's rotate this 90 degrees like that alright so that is looking good or let me rotate it in object mode instead so R hold on control and let's rotate this 90 degrees like that so now what I want to do next is let me take this one I don't think I need it anymore so I'm going to delete that like that and what I want to do next is I want to take this one and I want to press spacebar and type in set origin so I want to set the origin to 3D Kezza like that alright so that is looking good so with that done what I want to do now let's get into the side view um, let me get to the front view okay so what I want to do now let's get into the side view and uh, let's go over to global view let's go back to global view so press the space I mean the division sign on the numpad let's go back to global view is this one still showing I thought I hit it alright let's hide it so I'm gonna hide it the one I showed you guys in the beginning in the backup so I'm just hiding that one so I just hide it now so what I'm gonna do now is with the Kezza still in the middle there over here let me just make sure it's still there shift and S choose Kezza to select it and I'm gonna press shift and A and I'm gonna add in a uh, curve circle like this and let me go into edit mode I'm gonna scale this down to 4 on the blueprint of the tire like that or instead let's zoom in down here and let's make sure it falls right underneath this thread we have going on here so right underneath it like that and let's go to the circle section here or the, the curve section here and let's increase the resolution to something like 250 like that so just make sure it's falling right underneath the thread like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and we're going to add in an array modifier so let's put off let's put off the subdivision and let's add in an array modifier <coughs> minimize the shrink wrap and now what I want to do is we're going to change the direction from here I think 0 let's try 1 over here yeah so that, that is what we need so I want to change the uh, the uh, the fit type from fit count to fit curve and I want to select this curve right over here by clicking on this eyedropper over here and let's select the curve over here for the busier curve so this is going to give us the amount that we need to wrap around to form the tire and you can see that is what we have over here so let's get onto the side and now we have to close this gap up so that's what we're going to do right now we're going to close down the gap so let me just change the direction like this to something like this and then let me zoom in like that and get into wireframe and i want to drop it down over here in the array modifier section like this let me go into edit mode and let me zoom into this area all right so like that wireframe let me drop this down some more so let me see i think that is too much Let me see all right so let's keep going let me see let me try point eight two five okay so we need to go lower eight one five um let me see eight one five well let's try eight one four eight one three let's go with eight one zero okay let's go with eight one one and let's see what we have so eight one zero five eight one zero seven no wait, what eight one zero one? Let's go with two. No, so let's just go with eight one zero. 
like that and let's enable the merge option over here so once we enable the merge option you can see that gives us this uh, merge it merges that area over here but in order to make sure that because I, I noticed something that when I enable the merge option here, you can see we have multiple lines here but those lines are gotten rid of instantly as you can see over there but before we actually do this let's go back into edit mode okay so here's what we're going to do we're going to select these edges again so let's put up the array modifier we're going to select these edges again I forgot to do this earlier so let's just select these edges again and you know exactly what we're going to do we're just going to use the loop tools option on it so select all those ones and let's select these ones as well all the way to the top so just select each and every single one all the way to the top and then let's click on W I mean let's press W and click on loop tools and select space like that so that the space are evenly uh, distributed like that I mean the, the spaces between them are equal like that as you can see so that is looking good now let's re-enable the uh, the array modifier let's go back into edit mode let's put up the merge again so you can see now when we enable the merge you can see it's causing some problems here it's merging it way too much you can see over here when I enable it you can see it's merging way too much so in order to control that let's just drop the distance to something very small so something like point zero 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 one I think like that so that should merge it in the center and try to avoid everything else next to it so you can see what it is doing here let me see what is it merging at let me see alright there we go so it's merging right at this point over here so if I put that off it's not really showing so but it's merging it's merging I'm pretty sure of that let me see alright so if you take a close look over here you can see there's a line going on over here okay you can see that line over there when I put up the merge that line shows up which means it's not merging but if I enable that it means it's merging and that line it's gotten rid of like that that is looking good alright so now we have everything we need now all that we're gonna do now is <clears throat> we're gonna add in let me minimize the array modifier we're gonna add in a simple deform modifier over here I wanna change the type to bend like this and you can see it is not bending properly so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a an empty to actually guide this bend to wrap around the tire very nicely so with the castle still in the middle there where we need it to be just to be sure let me just put that there again so with those edges selected like that I'm gonna press it and in shoes because it to select it and let me add in an empty an empty where is it an empty plane axis and <coughs> what I want to do is let me let me put up the, the uh, simple deform off and let me take this let me move it right below the thread now this was something I learned in a course on cgmasters.net uh, it's a nice way of uh, bending the tire around the rim to make it look good so this one actually is not my knowledge I learned it from uh, CG, it's a course I bought online at cgmasters.net and I learned this trick from it so I'm just going to move it right below the thread like that and what I'm going to do next is <coughs> let me get over to this one let me select this and let's enable the simple deform now what I want to do is we want to select the axis origin and I want to set it to this empty here so just select the empty and then select it, I mean, click it on it like that. So you can see it's still not bending in the right direction. So let's change the axis and see what happens. Let's try the Z axis. Alright, so there we go. So you can see it's starting to try, it's trying to bend in that direction now. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to increase the angle very high to something like 360. Like this. And just increase that all the way to 360. There we go. But you can see it's still not merging together, but we can actually increase this angle to a much bigger one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here to this area. Let me get into wireframe, just so I can see where it's merging so that it gets close and I know what I'm doing. So let me see. Let's try 365. Hold on. I think that was too big. Wait, did I just type 3000? I meant 365. Alright, 365 seemed kind of too much. Let's try 360 again. Let's see where this starts. Let's go with 361. Alright, 363. Alright, pretty close. Let's go with 364. And now we are going to have to type in decimals now. So let's go with 364.1. Okay, let's go with 0.2. That's pretty close. 0.25, uh, I think. Alright, let's go. Let's drop that down a little bit. So 0 0.22. Alright, let me see. Let me try 0.21. Alright, so we're going to have to go with 0.22. So 364.22, like that. Alright, so with that done, what we're going to do now is we're going to apply, you can see the tire is looking great right now, it's looking really good. So, 
before we actually apply we, you can see the seam is still over there okay this is not merging in the middle here so what we're going to do is we have, we're going to have to apply the array modifier in a simple deform but before we do that let's fix this area right here you can see there's a little bit of space over here let's get onto the side view and you can see let's take a look over here right so you can see at the very bottom here which is what we're going to use for this you can see this area here actually moves into the rim a little bit to about a third of the whole area from here to here alright so about a third so we're going to make sure that is the case around the whole rim so how we're going to do that is we're going to take this empty here and we're going to move it up and down and that is going to control that so with that empty selected let's move up here I want to press G and then Z I want to move that down like this and I'll just select this and let's see what we have so we still, need move, we still need to move it a little bit more let me take a look here alright so let's see it's about halfway through the thickness over here almost halfway so let's move up here let's see so that is not close to almost halfway let's take this one and then let's move it again in the z-axis just a little bit more now let's take it again and let's take a look that is way more than halfway so we have to move it out a little bit more so let's move it in the top now so G Z let's move it up like this and let's take another look okay let's take the axis again let's move it up a little bit more let's take a look at it again and there it is let me just move it down just a little bit more G and then Z just a little bit more alright so there we go that should fit it all around it very nicely like that as you can see it's looking good and there's our off-road tire looking very nice you know alright so that's looking good so all that we can do now we can apply the um the what do you call it the modifiers now but before we actually do that let's make sure let's make sure let me try rotating this in the x-axis okay that is not gonna work so let's apply the modifiers now so we're gonna go over here we're gonna apply the array modifier and I'm gonna apply the simple deform modifier alright so with that done we're gonna hide it I'm gonna take this let's press alternate to bring everything first let's take the plane axis and let's delete it let's take the tire and let's hide it and let's hide this one it's all died and let's take this and let's delete it now let's press alternate to bring everything back again I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna hide it I'm gonna take this this is a tire guide so we're gonna move that into the guide meshes so let's press M and let's move it to the guide meshes collection over here so just move it to the guide meshes collection over here and click it over there like that let's press alternate to bring everything else back this is our tire now we're gonna have to check and see if it is rotating very nicely without any problems so I'm gonna take it like that I'm gonna press R and then X and then you can see it's rotating very nicely so there's no problem going on oh there's no um, mistakes made in this area because if you have any mistake made this is what will actually happen let me save this over and I think I showed you guys that with the rim so let me just this is what you might get if you take a look you can see it's not really rotating in a circular form okay take a look around the rim you can see it's not really rotating perfectly so you might get mistakes like this and that will mean you are going to have to start all over again which sucks but eventually you get it right so let me just undo that in this case we actually did everything right and uh, compared to my first tire actually this one has more vertices now let me see this one actually has more vertices the tire that I made that one only had 57,000 vertices but this one has 59,000 vertices as you can see so let me get in, in here you can see this is even with the subdivision off the subdivision is not on and this is even looking great already so if we turn on the subdivision, you can see that even looks way much better. It's taking some time to turn on. And you can see that even looks way much better. But I'm not going to add in any subdivision surface to this. I'm just going to keep it here like this. And I'm going to delete the subdivision surface. And now what I'm going to do is let's load in, let's load in the, tire, I mean the target here in the shrimp wrap to the, uh, the tire guide. Let's type in tire. So the tire guide. And with the group enabled, let's just enable that. And uh, you can see that actually helps with that area a little bit. Now we're just going to apply it and then keep things the way they are. So let me see something. Alright, let's load that in. And let's go into edit mode. Let's make sure we have the right one selected in the object data tab. And I think that's them. Those are the ones. Very nice. So I'm going to get out of that. Let's apply that as a final thing. And there we go. So yeah, that is all tire. All done and done. So it's looking very good as you can see alright so likely, like, lucky for me enough I was able to achieve the same result as I did 
in the first one, only that in my own, my the tire that I molded before making this video, this area here, this one here actually moves in a little bit more than this one, just like in the reference image, this one actually pulls in a little bit more than the ones on the other side, like the one we have in the reference image, so mine looks more closely to the reference image than this one, not, not that the difference is that big, but yeah, as you can see we actually achieved it very nicely without any problems and hopefully you also did too it's just that the uh, vertices ended up being many which is understandable due to the amount of uh, amount of amount of uh, threads we have going on here so yeah that is good that is, that is pretty much going to end it for this video but before we actually end it let me move on down here you can see this object here pulled out a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it back to fall on top here I'm gonna move it in, let me see. Just move it out a little bit more to this point. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into edit mode. Now this area over here, this area right here, I'm gonna take this, let me take this, dissolve it. I'm gonna take this, dissolve it. I'm gonna take this, dissolve it. I'm gonna take this, dissolve it. So I'm gonna add in two over here. I actually saw this on an actual Mercedes Benz rim. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna move it in the X axis, move it out just a little bit like that. Let me pull it in a little bit more. So I'm just going to pull it out just a tiny bit. Like that. And I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here. Add one close to that area. Add one close to this area. Add one close to this area. Add one close to this area. Add loop cut here. Add one here. And there we go. So that was what I was looking to achieve. As you can see. And you can see that looks even much better than what we initially had. Alright, so I think that will pretty much do it for this video. With our great tie going on and everything, I'll see you guys in the next video.